Good morning, Mr. Crossing, and happy Friday. I swear, yesterday felt more like Friday. I am not ready for today. The weather was nice outside today. So, what's the weather looking like, Logan? Hey guys, I don't really feel like talking about the weather today. So check out this monkey. Wow, look at him. Uh, it, now check out this other one. That's pretty crazy. He's so silly. Anyways, today's high is 81 and the low is 56. Oh, whoa, whoa, jump scared. There's another monkey. Oh, I got you, didn't I? Yeah, you got scared. I was sitting on my flight and I was like, what's the deal with airline food? It's going to rain all weekend. Be prepared for that. Walk with me. Okay, see ya. Thank you, Logan. Your weather this week has been interesting. Yeah, it's unfortunate it's going to be rainy this weekend, though. Agreed. It's going to be rainy for Mother's Day. Rosa, what do you have to say about this Mother's Day? Hi, Central. Happy Friday. I'm not sure if you guys knew, but Mother's Day is this weekend. Mother's Day is a holiday honoring motherhood, and it is observed throughout the whole world. In the U.S., Mother's Day will occur this Sunday, May 14th. Around the world, the dates and celebrations may vary, but they all involve presenting gifts, flowers, and cards to your mother. So, if you haven't gotten your mom a gift yet, this is your reminder to do so. And if you don't have any money like me, just spending some time with them or making them a nice, tasty food will do. Have a good weekend, Central, and happy Mother's Day. Thank you, Rosa. It's important to celebrate your mothers. Now, let's take a look at clubs. interested to be a Comet Crazy's captain for next year, please submit your name to Dr. Fuller today. And here's some great news. Junior Senior Game Shirts are here. If you're participating in the games and you've paid your $15, swing by room 225 to pick up your shirt. Library books must be turned in ASAP. The absolute date is May 22nd. If you do not return library books and materials, the cost of replacement will be added to your fees. And speaking of books, the race to 25 is still going on and currently seniors are still in the lead. You have 100 year books left to sell, and whichever class is 25 first is the winner. And as a special incentive, the 23rd buyer of each class wins a prize. You don't want to miss out on this, so go to jostens.com and buy your yearbook right now. Next, here's, a, here's some stuff happening next week. Our Spring Choir and Awards concert is May 16th at 7 p.m. This is free to enter. Plus, the Spring Show Choir Cabaret is May 23rd at 7 p.m. Tickets will be available at the door for students and seniors for $5 and adults for $8. Plus, we will be celebrating the academic accomplishments of our 9th, 10th, and 11th graders on May 19th. We will recognize 10th graders and 11th graders at 9 a.m. and 9th graders at 1.45 p.m. Now, let's head over to Cole and Alicia for our sports information. Hey, guys. Happy Friday. we got some congratulations to send out. After the first day of the OCC Buckeye Track and Field Championships, both the boys and the girls sit in fourth place. Leading the way with first place finish in the girls' high jump with sophomore Cordy Watkins. The girls' 4x800 meter relay team of senior Hannah Scoggin, freshman Mariana Ariaga, junior Audrey Gaines, and senior Brianna Garner placed fourth. For boys, junior JD Laws led the way in third place with finish in a long jump. Plus, the 4x800 meter relay team of sophomore Julius Rodriguez, junior Hector Vicente, freshman Cody Gerlach, and freshman Ricardo Vicente finished in fifth place. Good job tracking, good luck tomorrow. The meeting continues on Saturday at Lanchester starting at noon with the field events and running events starting at 2 o'clock. Now, let's look at what we have going on today. Boys Varsity Baseball plays at home against Bishop Ready High School. There's not much else happening today, but here's what's happening tomorrow. Boys JV and Freshman Baseball plays at home against Marysville High School at 11. Boys Varsity Baseball plays away against Marysville High School at 11 a.m. also. Make sure you come out and support your fellow comments tonight. Make sure you stay hydrated as these days get hotter. And put on sunscreen whenever you can. That's it. Bye. Thank you, sporters. And good luck to our athletes. Now, please rise for the pledge. The pledge for so many things in our country and from another way to support all those who fought for us. Here's Michelle to lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, in liberty and justice for all. That is everything we have for this week. This will probably be the last time you see us anchoring. Do you have anything to say here to, like, the students at Central? 
Um, I don't have much to say, but I hope you all stay safe and have a great rest of your school year. Don't be stupid, be smart, be safe, and I love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, <laughs> 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 <laughs>